Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a quick, I guess, regular video. It's, I wouldn't say this is a tutorial, but if you want to take it that way, that's totally fine. But I will be doing my husband's dreads today. It's been four long months since I've done his dreads and, you know, twisted them and made them look like, you know, he's loved a lot by me. And um, today, while I was doing his hair, he said, you know, why not film this and show your subscribers how you do this? So yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I do this. Um, it's not really a hard process. I think it's really easy. Um, if you want to know the length of his dreadlocks, they're over 30 inches the last time I measured, which was a very long time ago. And I had taken about three to four inches off to cut them nice and even. So I have to do a new measure and see, you know, how long his hair has gotten. But um, yeah, so one of the things that I do when I do his dreadlocks, I like to dampen his hair with a, you know, a spray bottle mixed with peppermint oil and lavender oil and also some amla oil and coconut oil. I also like to put a bit of conditioner in there and water, mix it up and spray it on his hair just to get it nice and damp so it's easy to work with. While he's getting, you know, conditioners and essential oils and other important oils, you know, add it to his hair to keep it nice and healthy and to keep his hair from you know falling out or from balding and receding and all of those things okay the beeswax I'm using I got this from the beauty supply this is the beeswax with black um black castor oil and flaxseed oil so this is the one I'm using today I actually like it it's very soft very easy to work with but when I do the front part of his hair I use the um, marais I believe it's called it's in the orange tin that one is a lot thicker and it gets the front part of the hair you know nice and smooth and slick down it's like a like a very thick consistency almost like an edge control but thicker Okay, basically gives you that nice slick down effect like an edge control would give you, okay, the marais, but it is a tiny bit harder to work with. This one that I'm using, the beeswax with the black castor oil and the flaxseed oil is much easier to work with. It's a softer consistency, but I still get a nice hold from it. Um, it doesn't have the brand on the front of the packaging, but I'll check it again. I'll put the brand in the description box for you guys, okay? So as you guys could see, I do use a comb to section off his hair. He had his hair sectioned off years ago his dreads are about 13 14 years old and he had them sectioned off by um you know a, a lady in a salon in the bronx and i believe she used a zigzag part um on his hair i'm not 100 percent sure because a lot of his parts are not straight so i don't know if it was random or zigzag but i'm thinking zigzag because some of them look zigzag so don't fight me on that, okay? But, you know, the most important thing is that I, you know, get his hair together. I'm able to see his scalp when I'm done. You know, it doesn't have to be super perfect and boxed out in the back. Like, I could definitely do that, but that would require cutting some of the dreads and separating hair from some dreads and adding to some. And I'll also probably have to add filler hair because some of his dreads, not all, most of his dreads are pretty nice and thick and have a really nice consistency but there are a few here and there um you know that are very thin some of them i've had to double them because they've gotten very thin over the years because he used to do his dreads by himself so he couldn't see behind his head so some some dreads got more hair than other dreads if that makes sense to you um you know so he used to do it by himself and you know couldn't really see behind his head so a lot of them are you know not consistent but it's fine you know i've had to combine two of his dreads which you saw you know in the early part of this video you saw one that was the same consistency and thickness as the other ones but it had two dreads those are two that got really thin over time all right so i had to kind of combine those but he pretty much wears his hair like this so when i lock up his hair or twist up his hair you know i braid it and you just saw there those two they kind of like combined they locked up those two locks locked up so i had to separate it and kind of pull it apart you can definitely use a scissors or knife if you want to but i just prefer to not cut the hair i just like to pull it apart instead of cutting the hair all right so as you guys can see i'm spraying the hair getting it nice and damp getting those oils on there making sure i shake the bottle every time i do it so that you know i can get the oils and the conditioner onto his hair
and the twist you can twist in pretty much any direction that you like I pretty much always twist towards the right that's where I, I twist towards the right that works for me I'm right-handed so I don't know if that's why but I twist towards the right you could twist towards the left you could pretty much do it however you like so long as you twist the hair you can also use your comb to comb the new growth into the you know existing lock or the part of the hair that's already locked up this is just gonna help create like a knotted base to help create you know start basically the new part of the lock of hair um, I'm trying to explain this as best as I can without confusing you guys you know but if you don't have a comb or you're not using a comb you can just use your fingers to kind of straighten out all the hair get it all the way down to the base where the lock starts and then twist and if you have extra hair continue twisting that hair and kind of blending it in or combining it in with the part of the hair that's already locked up and make sure you you know put some wax on it as well when I um, when Picasso started his hair it was shoulder length that was around the time that um, I met him and it was it was short but it wasn't like super super short so you know pretty much most of the hair that he has on his head is pretty much our relationship so yeah it has a lot of stuff in there you know some lint some dead hair some of my hair different color hairs that I've had over the year <laughs> um, it holds secrets all right but he did wash it um, a while ago I think about two weeks ago he washed it really really good he does a baking soda apple cider vinegar mixture which he uses to, you know, pretty much clarify his hair and get all the dirt out. And if you're concerned about the white look of the wax, um, it does melt. So by the time I get to the front part of his hair, you'll notice a lot of the whiteness has kind of pretty much disappeared because it melts with the room temperature. We have the heat on in-house, so it pretty much melts into his scalp and into the lock itself, you know. So don't worry about that looking white for too long. You can also use a blow dryer to help speed up the process of the wax melting, okay? I'm sure some of you guys were hoping that Picasso would be speaking, but usually when I do his hair, we just put on a show that we both like or a show that I like since I'm the one doing his hair that I can watch while doing his hair because this process takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So, you know, I put on a show that I like to watch or that we both like to watch or a movie and I sit there and you know I just do his hair I'm usually on the couch and he's usually sitting on a cushion on the floor that was our doggy Lucy you know trying to see if his if her papa was okay because she wasn't sure what I was doing you know but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking for a bit I'm gonna put some music on for you guys real low not too high and you can yeah watch me lock up my husband's hair I'll come back in a few and continue talking Perfect.
All right, you guys, so now I am starting on the front part of his hair. I pretty much already did half of the hair. You saw that I parted the hair. I actually used two combs to do that, but I ended up using the metal rat tail comb or the metal pointed rat tail comb to get a nice sharp line. And now I'm doing the sides of his hair. And you could kind of see the zigzag um, shape that it used to have. Like it's still there. You know, I've tried to kind of make it more boxy, but I pretty much gave up on that. So as long as it's neat looking and you can see his scalp, that's all we really both care about, okay? So I'm adding in a bit of the Moray's beeswax, and I'll show a picture right here to show you guys what it looks like while still using the original wax. By the way, it's a beeswax by Eco Styles. Um, so far their products are good. I just, you know, I have like a love-hate relationship with their hair gel because it has so much buildup on me, especially around my hairline. I don't really use gel like that except for when my hair is really dirty and then all I do is put my hair up in a ponytail or in a bun and I use gel, you know, along my hairline to keep it nice and smooth and I've noticed buildup from the Eco Style gel. So that's like my only thing with it, but I do love the effect after using it it looks nice and shiny and healthy you know like i care about myself but yeah the buildup is a no-no for me all right but i'm still gonna use it i just have to wash my hair more often than i'd like all right so yep as you guys can see i'm just braiding the hair like everything else just you know three separate uh dreadlocks that i use to create a braid you could twist the hair if you like do a twist but chances are it may come apart so just braiding it works for me and he likes it too because it stays together a bit longer especially with him being on the road and you know being a truck driver you sleep in your truck so he just needs something that's easy to maintain he could just put it in his one ponytail and you know keep going would that be considered i guess it's a low ponytail okay he puts it all together with a hair. Usually he used like the very thin headbands to tie up his hair because regular hair ties do not work. They pop. Um, and I got him out of finally using rubber bands, you know, to put his hair together. You know, those, um, those rubber bands that the postal office uses for mail, that's what he used to use. And I noticed that it was starting to um, break his hair in his dreadlocks. So around the area where he would put the rubber band, it was, you know, kind of breaking the hair and the lock was getting very weak in that area. So now I have him using the, you know, the regular headbands that you can get them from Dollar Tree. I think you get about 12 in a pack for a dollar, something like that. And he uses that to put his hair together and 
so far his hair has been really nice and healthy without any breakage you know caused by the rubber band he has some breakage in some areas because you know my baby wanted his hair bleached and I told him you know bleaching on dreadlocks is is not the best thing in my opinion because you can't wash out all the bleach like there's always going to be some left behind and it can continue to process in the dreadlocks and cause it to break off and we've had a couple you know of dread a couple dreadlocks break off and get very weak spots and come off completely but um as far as the rubber band causing any breakage around the base of his neck or anything like that you know that's pretty much gone okay so like I said, I use the marais closer to the front part of his hair um, um, by his hairline because I don't want to pull too hard by his hairline because pulling too hard can cause, you know, permanent, you know, hair loss and balding around your hairline. So you definitely have to be careful when you're locking up your hair or your child's hair or your boyfriend, girlfriend's hair around the hairline, okay? And you really don't need a lot of tools to get the base of the lock smooth. You can use your fingers, you can use a rat tail comb, you can even use a really small, you know, edge brush to, you know, brush it nice and smooth if you want to. I pretty much just use my fingers and if it's like, if the hair is like really like poofy or frizzy or anything like that, I'll use the comb to kind of help smooth it down. Then use my fingers to smooth it down with the beeswax or the Marais beeswax. All right, so we're finally at the top. Okay, so here I pretty much just section off the hair. There should be six dreads. Like, I pretty much section it all off so I make sure I have enough dreads to create, you know, two more braids, okay? And I just section it off with my fingers, or you can use a comb if you want to be really, really precise, but my fingers do a pretty good job. So I use the marais and a bit of the beeswax with the black castor oil and flaxseed and just twist. And as you can see, I'm bringing the hair all the way down the shaft and twisting it up, almost creating like little loops closer to the base of the hair, if you look closely. When I twist, I twist until I get little loops that kind of bunch up or pile up towards the base of the hair. This is going to keep the um, twist in place until I'm ready to um, braid it together. All right, you guys, so I zoomed in a bit more for you just in case you're having a hard time seeing this. So, you know, I make my part. And I kind of make my parts a little bit more perfect towards the front part of his hair. So you see I'm twisting it. And I try to twist it as much as I can until it starts to bunch up. And then I go in and braid. This way it keeps the wax together. It keeps the, the lock itself together. keeps it nice and locked up until I'm ready to braid it into one plait. Alright you guys, so now we're going to start on the front part of the hair. I'm going to make our parts, put a bit of the Moray's beeswax, and then we're going to go in with a bit of the um, regular beeswax with the castor oil. And we're going to start twisting. And you see it's starting to bunch up right there. It kind of holds that twist in place. And I've been doing this for a long time. I think, what, 13 plus years now I've been doing this. And Picasso's dreads are the first dreads I've ever touched in my life and the first, first dreads I've ever done in my life. I did not know how to do this. You know, I pretty much taught myself how to do it, you know. He, he showed me that you just twist it and then, you know, I went from there and taught myself how to do it you know, and to get his hair right. Right now my husband is busy trying to grow out a beard and he will not cut it until my birthday. That's what he's telling me. So, um, yeah, I'm waiting for my birthday. <laughs> I am not a fan of facial hair on him at all. You know, I prefer the clean cut with just a little bit above the lip and the chin hair. That's about it. I do not care for the beard on the side of his face. It looks like I don't know not it's not for me it's a no okay it's a no but I'm gonna put on some music and you guys can watch me finish the rest of his hair
All right, you guys, so we are pretty much done. We got one more to go, and this is his happy ending and my happy ending, and it's over with, you know? I already told him, I said, try to keep your hair neat, okay? Because I don't know when I'm going to do this again. <laughs> okay. Um, but usually when I redo it, I pretty much redo it. Um, I take out one braid, do that section, and so on and so on, okay? Instead of taking it all out. So I do one braid at a time when I redo it. So this is the after for my baby after. He gives me the angry look, okay? But this is the after. My baby. Oh, he looks loved again. But this is the after. You can see his scalp. His scalp can breathe again. And he doesn't look like some unloved caveman that nobody loves. Okay. We love him very much. It's just I'm always busy doing something. All right. So this is how it looks. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, if you hit notifications, you have to keep watching my videos in order to keep getting them. That's something I found out. So just letting you know. I love you guys and see you later. Bye.